In the golden haze of nostalgia, where the past merges with the present, lies a tale that once captivated hearts and painted emotions on the canvas of our lives. Think back to that moment when the flicker of the television screen first introduced you to the enchanting world of the young and the restless. Perhaps it was the hushed excitement of a lazy afternoon or the anticipation of the evening's drama unfolding in pixelated glory. Can you still feel that spark, that undeniable connection to characters whose lives intertwined with yours, albeit through a screen? Maybe it was the echoing whispers of romance that tugged at your heartstrings, the fluttering hope of newfound love or the echoes of heartbreak that felt eerily familiar. And oh, the melodious symphony of power struggles and family ties, each note resonating with a chord within your own journey. Those are the moments that remain etched in memory, the echoes of storylines that lured you back, episode after episode. But let's venture beyond the veil of nostalgia into the realm of facts, where the behind-the-scenes secrets and trivia await. Did you know that the show's iconic opening theme was composed by Barry Dvorzan and Perry Botkin Jr., a tune that became a symphony of recognition for fans worldwide? Or that the young and the restless holds the distinction of being the longest-running soap opera in production, a testament to its enduring charm? As we peel back the layers of time, the stories that unfolded both on and off-screen come alive once again, reminding us of the show's undeniable impact. So, as we embark on this journey through the annals of soap opera history, remember that each episode wasn't just a chapter in a show, but a chapter the young in the book the of restless, your own life. A renowned television series premiered in 1973, marking a milestone in soap opera history. Crafted by William J. Bell and Lee Philip Bell, the show's origins lay in their desire to create a contemporary drama focusing on the lives of two wealthy families, the Newmans and the Abbots, against the backdrop of Genoa City. The show's iconic characters, including Victor Newman and Catherine Chancellor, became household names, captivating audiences with their intricate relationships and dynamic personalities. Distinguished by its emotionally charged storytelling and intricate character development, the series stood out with its unique style. Its exploration of societal issues and taboo subjects set it apart, reflecting the evolving cultural landscape. As the show progressed, it maintained a delicate balance between romance, intrigue, and family dynamics, further engaging viewers. Its success was affirmed by numerous accolades, including numerous daytime Emmy Awards. The Young and the Restless left an indelible mark on popular culture. It reshaped the soap opera genre by introducing a faster pace and addressing contemporary issues. Its longevity and dedicated fan base solidified its position as a cultural touchstone, influencing subsequent TV shows and serving as a breeding ground for emerging talent. Now, delving into captivating trivia about the series, did you know that the character Victor Newman, portrayed by Eric Breeden, holds the distinction of being one of the longest-running characters on American television? Additionally, the show's portrayal of complex relationships set against lavish backdrops captured the imagination of millions, ensuring its enduring legacy. In a surprising twist that even the most dedicated fans might not know, when Michael Damien debuted on the 1973 TV series The Young and the Restless as the charismatic Danny Romilotti, it wasn't Gene Cooper's character, Kay Chancellor, who financed his music video endeavors. Rather, it was the enigmatic Kay Chancellor herself who stepped forward, a decision that adds an intriguing layer to the show's dynamic. Strikingly, Jean Cooper, the actress portraying Kay Chancellor, had no inkling about rock music, diverging significantly from her character's actions. This unexpected backstage detail offers a fascinating glimpse into the complexities of character portrayal and the subtleties of artistic interpretation within the realm of daytime television drama. While the spotlight often shines on the characters, objects in the background can also hold captivating tales. Take the China gracing the hands of Catherine Chancellor. For several years, the China from which the character sipped bore the heirloom pattern by Royal Albert. This seemingly mundane choice carries an air of opulence and heritage, aligning perfectly with the character's refined persona. It's a prime example of how even the smallest design elements contribute to the intricate tapestry of storytelling. Tragedy and change can sometimes propel a show's evolution, as was the case with the untimely passing of actress Michelle Thomas in late 1998. To maintain the narrative continuity, Sienna Goins seamlessly took over the role of Callie Rogers Stark. 
Such transitions remind us of the interconnectedness of on-screen personas and the resilient nature of the television industry. As the annals of the young and the restless continue to unfold, these lesser-known aspects enrich our understanding of the show's legacy. They underline the manifold dimensions of storytelling, from the interplay between actors and characters to the careful selection of set pieces. Delving into these intricacies not only deepens our appreciation, but also showcases the meticulous craftsmanship that makes this series a timeless favorite. So next time you find yourself immersed in the melodramatic universe of the young and the restless, remember that beyond the glitz and drama lies a world of secrets, anecdotes, and hidden treasures that continue to shape the show's enduring We're casting narrative. in power struggles, behind the scenes drama of the young and the restless in the world of daytime drama. The intrigue that unfolds on screen often pales in comparison to the tales of power struggles, and backstage turmoil. Such was the case for The Young and the Restless, a beloved soap opera that has captured the hearts of viewers for decades. One notable incident that left fans stunned and reeling involved the sudden departure of actor Christopher Douglas in July 2001. Reports circulated that a clash of creative forces between head writer Kay Alden and executive producer Edward Scott led to Douglas' abrupt firing. The character he portrayed was none other than the enigmatic and charismatic Philip Chancellor IV. The aftermath of Douglas' exit left a void that needed filling. The show's producers swiftly made a move to recast the pivotal role, ushering in David Lee Russick to take on the part. The transition was met with mixed reactions from the fan base, as viewers grappled with the adjustment to a new face and portrayal of the beloved character. The intrigue both on and off the set seemed to mirror the tumultuous relationships that the show's characters navigated on a daily basis. While recasting and backstage drama were the talk of the town, it's worth noting that years before Doug Davidson and Michael Damien joined the cast, they were avid fans of one of the show's legendary stars, Jean Cooper. The actress, who portrayed the indomitable Catherine Chancellor, left an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers. Long before they graced the small screen, Davidson and Damien found themselves captivated by the drama, romance, and intrigue that unfolded on The Young and the Restless. Little did they know that their admiration for the show would one day lead them to become integral parts of its legacy. Beyond the personalities that graced the screen, the show also left an impression through its themed episode weeks. These offerings provided a delightful departure from the show's regular format, allowing fans to immerse themselves in a concentrated dose of their favorite characters and storylines. From Catherine Week to Villains Week, Romance Week to Emmy Week, each themed week offered a unique lens through which viewers could relive and savor the captivating world of Genoa City. As the show continued to evolve, its backstage dynamics and on-screen narratives intertwined in ways that mirrored the very essence of soap opera storytelling, full of unexpected twists and turns, highs and lows. The departure of Christopher Douglas and subsequent recasting, coupled with the journey of future stars who were once fervent fans, stand as testaments to the enduring legacy of the young and the restless. In a world where drama unfolds both on camera and behind the scenes, one thing remains clear. The soap opera landscape is as complex and captivating as the stories it tells. And as the young and the restless continues to enthrall audiences, its narrative, both on and off screen, remains an ever unfolding tale of human emotion and creativity. The Young and the Restless, a glimpse into television history in the world of daytime drama. Few shows have stood the test of time like The Young and the Restless. Debuting in 1973, it quickly became a staple of American television. While its current popularity is undeniable, the show's origins hold a trove of fascinating tidbits that reveal its groundbreaking nature. One such revelation sheds light on a unique crossover between The Young and the restless and another classic series, The Rat Patrol. Among the ensemble cast, Eric Breeden isn't the sole connection between these two shows. Astoundingly, six other actors also graced both series. Steve Franken, Mark Tapscott, Frank Marth, Michael Evans, Paul Stevens, and Carl Bruck. This crossover not only speaks to the interconnectedness of the television industry, but also showcases the versatility of these performers across different narrative landscapes. But it wasn't just crossovers that set the young and the restless apart. It made history as the first U.S. soap opera and daytime program to grace the screens in high definition. In an era when technology was rapidly advancing, the show seized the opportunity to embrace innovation. 
This pioneering step into the world of HDTV not only elevated the visual experience for viewers, but also set a precedent for other shows to follow. Interestingly, the show's initial title, The Innocent Years, offers a glimpse into the creative process that ultimately birthed the young and the restless. This working title hints at a different narrative direction, one that might have taken a more introspective approach to the characters and their journeys. However, the eventual title not only captures the essence of the show's intergenerational storytelling, but also marks its place in the pantheon of television history. As the young and the restless continues to captivate audiences, its early years remain a testament to its ability to adapt, innovate, and create a lasting impact on television. The connections to the Rat Patrol, the groundbreaking leap into HDTV, and the evolution from the innocent years to its final title all contribute to the rich tapestry of this iconic show's legacy. In a world where television narratives come and go, The Young and the Restless stands as a beacon of storytelling excellence, a reminder of the ever-evolving landscape of entertainment. As we bid adieu to this captivating journey through the realms of Genoa City, and the lives intricately woven together within the young and the restless, one cannot help but be enveloped by a sense of nostalgia and reflection. This timeless TV series, like a thread connecting moments across time, has been a witness to the tapestry of human emotions, relationships, and the echoes of life's trials and triumphs. As the curtains draw to a close on the scenes that have been a part of our lives, it's an opportune moment to pause and ponder. How has this saga resonated with you? Has it been the unforgettable love stories that tugged at your heartstrings, the schemes that kept you on the edge of your seat, or perhaps the intriguing family dynamics that mirrored your own experiences in unexpected ways? The Young and the Restless isn't merely a show, it's a mirror that reflects the essence of our own stories, passions, and connections. So, I invite you to share your cherished memories, your thoughts that have been stirred by the characters' journeys, and the emotions that have been kindled through the years. In this digital age, let us keep alive the spirit of this series by sharing the fragments that have touched us deeply. Your stories, your musings, and your reflections are the lifeblood that keeps the legacy alive. They serve as a testament to the power of storytelling to bridge gaps, to touch hearts, and to remind us of our shared humanity. As we navigate the myriad emotions that this farewell evokes, I extend my gratitude to you for taking this voyage through time with me. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated, and your engagement is what makes discussions like these so meaningful. Here's to the memories shared, the emotions felt, and the connections forged, all thanks to the rich tapestry of the young and the restless. May the echoes of Genoa City's tales continue to resonate within your heart, serving as a reminder that life's moments are, indeed, a beautiful interplay of the young and the restless. 